Fez here from Crypto Setups. This DeFi tutorial is brought to you by Icon Plus. Today I'm going to explore the Balance Protocol in further detail. So if you haven't already, I did a review on an overview, I should say, on the um, prototype that was released. Now today I am on the testnet version and I wanted to show you the DEX. So particularly what I'm going to focus on is how to add liquidity to the pairs that are available on the DEX. Because remember, when you add liquidity to these pairs that I'm going to show you, you also are rewarded with the balance token. So uh, let's jump straight in. Again, full disclosure, it is on testnet. Certain things may not run as they will in mainnet. So keep that in mind. A few things may be off. That's okay though. It is a testnet version. That is to be expected. And a lot of the figures and things that you see are not what would happen in prod <laughs> on mainnet, I mean. is because remember on testnet there's limited supply of everything. So it's just populating figures based on that. Uh, on... Um, uh, on mainnet, it'll be very different because there'll be a lot more uh, people interacting and percentages will change all the time. And I'll explain through the video what I mean. So let's dive right in. I will focus on supplying liquidity, but just heading over to the swap section, you can see um, at the moment there's no charts, but uh, you can see the pairs that are listed. You literally pick a pair and put in the figures and you swap just like any other AMM. So coming down to supply liquidity, what's great, it's launching with these three pairs that you can supply liquidity to and at the same time each of these pairs is what earns you by supplying liquidity you also earn the balance token and you can see over here it starts giving you a bit of an overview of what would transpire so first things first is i want to focus on the icx slash sicx so we know icx is icx sicx is staked icx okay so this particular pool, I want to clear up any confusion there is around this uh, from talking to Scott and the team. This pool is you deposit your ICX and as you can see, I have plenty of ICX on my testnet wallet. So if I were to deposit 500 over here, it would just, let, let's run through it. So I, I want to talk through as I, as I do it. So I'll put in 500. When you're supplying ICX to this pool, it goes, loads up the wallet, standard process. And I'll hit get it in there. Just give it a moment. You can see. So as soon as you supply liquidity, it will load up over here. So you can see your details. And earlier you can see I deposited a fraction, a little bit of um, the balance token and some BNUSD. So here we go. I've deposited some ICX over here. You can see that my supply of the total supply, so at the moment there is 3,549 ICX in this pool. I have deposited 500 of it. Based on what's going on in testnet and the distributions, it is telling me I'll earn this much, which is quite cool. So you can imagine on mainnet, the second you add liquidity, you're going to get a very good idea of what's going on at the time, uh, how much rewards you're going to get, etc. So, what I wanted to clear up about this is when you, this is the one pool where when you deposit ICX, that's all you're depositing. It's not splitting it half and half into ICX and staked ICX or anything like that that would happen in the other pools where you deposit half of one pair and half of the other. This pool is strictly an ICX pool. You, When you deposit your ICX, you do not get your staking rewards for that ICX in this pool, strictly this pool. Because when you deposit, all that's in this pool is ICX. Why? Well, as you know, there's a feature where you can uh, move your staked ICX, the SICX, straight into ICX and pay a small fee to swap it across so that you don't have to wait the seven days, eight days, nine days, whatever's going on with the network. Well, this is the pool that has all the ICX in it. So that's where you pay the fee and the ICX gets um, comes out of this pool. So I hope this that little explanation helps clear it up because what you're doing is while it's called the SICX ICX pool, all it's holding is ICX. So from a risk perspective, 
the only risk in this is you forego your staking rewards. So if I'd put 1,000 instead of having that 1,000 staked, I don't have it. I just have it in this pool. But right away, I'm earning the balance token. So that's what um, is a hope that will offset the need for the staking rewards and you get the balance token as a reward. But at least you're not getting exposed to any um, price risks, etc. It's strictly you're just losing your staking rewards by supplying to this pool. I think I've, I've harped on enough on that. So let's let's go to another pool. So you can see over here, 500, it's done. Now, I wanna supply liquidity to the staked ICX. And, and this is something you'll realize, apart from the ICX pool, no, nothing else is paired with ICX. It's S staked ICX or the balance against the stable coin. And what stable coin is it? It's the one you mint via the balance protocol. So staked ICX and um, balanced uh, USD, BNUSD. So let's, um, you can see right away underneath here, it's got my balances. So I have a little bit of staked ICX and a little bit of BNUSD I put um, together just before the tutorial. So let's supply some. I mean, you can go and put exact figures here. So I'll put 250. You can see instead of using the slider, I typed it and it's automatically split it based on what price and everything's going on in the background. So let's supply this. Now, when you hit supply, you do have to, uh, You there are few transactions you have to do. So the UI and everything's made it extremely simple. You just follow it through. Yeah, I'm staking 250, yep, great. So as always, every transaction you will need to put in your password. It's just the nature of things. And while that's doing, I know I gotta hit it again. You can see it's added it. I could remove it right away, but what's the point of doing that? Remember, this is just a transaction fee that you would pay nor per transaction. That That's why, why each of these are separated out. And then finally, it's added both of these. And click on supply. If this ever happens, that's okay. Just close it, hit supply again, and it'll refresh. Sometimes it, Iconex plays up. And once you've done the three steps, you've added the two pairs and then hit supply, done. Right away, again, just the information you were seeing before. So you can see that I have supplied a little bit. It's obviously taken the fee there. Um, oh, it's test net, so keep in mind things are not perfect yet. So, and, and the BNUSD that I've supplied, you can see that overall I have a 5% pool share. Now on mainnet, depending on these figures, it, I would have a fraction of the pool share as more and more people add liquidity, but this is telling you what's going on based on the contracts on testnet. Great. So I've supplied, you can see I would daily, I would get daily rewards of 300, um, over here, ISICX and ICX, I'm looking at 400 balanced, and then uh, there's another pair I can supply liquidity to. So let's go to that, which is the balance BNUSD. So that's the token, the governance token and profit sharing token. So this time I'll use a scroller. I know I have a bit of cell supply. Again, same process. Literally, from the chain is so quick for the last supply. Obviously, you have to wait for the final one to get done, and then you can hit supply again. You can see it's done that little glitch thing. That's okay. Close it, start again. And when I say close it, I mean just the X on the icon X, it's not in my window, but yeah, don't go closing anything, the website or anything like that. Okay, there you go. 
So what you've seen me do in this video is supply liquidity to all the three pools that are available. Now I have taken a bit of time and explained to you what's different about the SICX slash ICX pool where it's strictly ICX. Now let me break down the other two pools. So staked ICX and BNUSD is actually staked ICX in the pool half and half. So remember staked ICX is a little bit different where the value will always grow based off on the entire staked ICX pool. Now I'll do a bit of a video breaking that down when the product is live so you can see how it really works but but that it's still staked ICX and it's paired against a stable coin. So so in each of both of these, when you're depositing liquidity, remember what you deposit is not necessarily the exact amounts you're going to get out because in, in this case, if uh, ICX starts to go up or down, depending on trade the trading that happens in the pool, you're going to end up with different amounts. Now, what the team and the way the protocol rewards you for taking that risk is via the balance token. That's why you're earning balance the balance token for supplying to these pools. Now at the moment you can see that this is not showing the balance reward but that again could just be an issue in testnet so don't don't worry about that. Okay I think I have spoken for 11 minutes. I've, I've walked through each of the pools and it should give you a really good idea of how you add liquidity to the protocol. It is extremely simple. Uh, so on that note I shall quickly end this video now. I, I was going to talk through the swap function but for the moment I just want to stick to the liquidity. If you have any questions um, please ask them on in the comments or via telegram on the balance channel and i'll try to answer anything i can but there you have it thanks again for watching